How's everybody doing tonight? Hopefully you guys are doing good. I know I'm doing good. Yeah. It's a little cold today, though, if I'm being honest. And, uh... Whew, really, really cold. Hi, Pebble. Uh, what's up, Dom? Just so you guys don't get weirded out, Pebble is my wife. So... That, uh, that's why I smiled that way. That's my wife. <laughs> I gotta clean this camera. It looks a little foggy. Eh. Oh, you know what? I know what the problem is. My light's dimmed. I should be able to fix that right now, though. There we go. Alright, that's a lot better. I fixed it. Sweet. Yeah, but yeah, like I said, it's really cold today. Um, that you say, well, I know in some parts of town it was actually snowing. That's what a uh, sister from church said today that it was snowing over in her neighborhood. Um, I looked at the app, I think yesterday, and it said it's supposed to snow in the morning at like 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the morning. So if you guys are up, which you shouldn't be on a school night, um might be snow outside so that's pretty cool all right we're gonna go ahead and get started so we're gonna pray in and let's get into it lord we love you and we praise you you're so good to us father you're so faithful to us lord um, you're very trustworthy and you're just awesome and tonight father god we just thank you for your word we thank you father god that your word can get us out of a funky attitude lord and tonight, Father, just let this just minister to us, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Cool. So, what if animals could speak English? If animals can speak English, my dog would be telling me I'm hungry all day, every day. I'm hungry and play with me. That's all she would be saying. <laughs> all right, but let's get into this message tonight, shall we? I want to ask you guys a question real quick. Well, actually, before we even get into the message, if I can just uh, give a shout out to Christine uh, from our youth ministry. She put out a very awesome message on our little um, group messaging thing here on Instagram. It was really awesome. I loved reading that. Christine, keep doing those devotions. Keep spending time with the Lord. That was awesome. Um, but yeah, let's get into this message. So I want to ask you guys a question. And that question is this. Have you guys ever caught yourself going through the motions? And for those of you who don't know what that means, going through the motions is doing something without making much of an effort. Or as I like to look at it, and that's this is just my opinion, um, you're doing something and you're not putting your heart into it. Uh, so, again, have you ever caught yourself going through the motions? I know I have caught myself many a times going through the motions, ranging from, you know, when I was a teenager doing chores or doing things that I was supposed to do. Um, even, you know, being a grown man, you know, going to work sometimes. I'm just going through the motions. Um, or it can be school, you know, for, for you guys just going through the motions. It can be a relationship with people. You know, you're just going through the motions. You're not giving it your all. You're not doing what you should be doing, you know, you're not giving it 100%. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, um, it happens. It happens when you, you get into an attitude where you're just like, I don't want to do it. <laughs> I really don't want to do it. Um, and I'm not, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not, I know I just laugh, but it's, it happens. You know, it really does happen. And um, the dangerous thing about going through the motions is that that can, you know, go into your relationship with God. You know, there's there are people who say they're following God um, and whatever's happening in their personal lives or what, what, whatever, they're just going through the motions. Their heart's not into it. You know, they're praising and they're worshiping him, but his heart, their hearts are not into it. You know, they're reading their Bible, but their heart's not into it. They're just going through the motions. They're just going to church like, yeah, I went to church, you know, whatever. But that's a problem. You know, going through the motions is a problem. And what happens is as we're living 
in this life that we have here on planet Earth, things just beat us down. You know, life just just beats us down. You you got, you know, as as a teenager, there are things that you guys think about. There are things that you guys worry about uh, that just beat you down. And you can find yourself when you guys are getting beat down. You know, with relationships that you guys have in school with friends or or what have you, or you know your grades, or it can be. A bunch of things it can be your home life it can be a lot of things it's just beating you down as a grown-up there's a lot of things that can beat you down as a grown-up and what happens is you just you get in a mode where you're just going through the motions on things you're just beat down but the Lord doesn't want us to be like that you know it says in Philippians chapter 4 verse 4 it says rejoice in the Lord always again I say rejoice now, see, when you're rejoicing in something, you are, you're happy, you're happy, right? Let me find my note on that real quick. You're, yeah, you're being happy in something. You're delighting in something. You know, you're, you're showing great joy in something. Now, it, now, if we're showing great joy in something, if we're showing delight in, in, in being happy in, happy in something, that something is God. See, it says rejoice in the Lord. It doesn't say rejoice in your grades. It doesn't say rejoice in your the relationships that you have in other people because those things, I'm telling you, those things are, are not going to fulfill you. They're, those things are not going to, to um, energize you for your week, for the month, for the rest of your life. My job does not energize me like the Lord energizes me. You know, uh, my wife, Maribel, y'all know I love my girl. But she does not, I don't get my joy from her. My joy comes from the Lord. And when I get my joy from the Lord, then I take joy into my wife. See, it always goes back to God and God first and God only. Everything else revolves around that, okay? So why why are we talking about going through the motions? Well, it's like this. If you're rejoicing in the Lord, if you're finding your joy in the Lord, See, you're thinking when you find your joy in the, your, the Lord, you got to think about things like this. He saved us. He's never lied to us. He has our best interest in heart. Um, he loves us. He's given us eternal life. He's going to bless us at that appointed time. At that right time, he's going to bless us. Uh, he'll put the right people in our lives. He protects us. He's always faithful. And God's awesome. I'm going to just be honest. God is awesome. So when I think of those things, I find joy in the Lord. So then what happens if I'm finding joy in the Lord? I wake up. Lord, thank you for waking me up, Lord. I, th I thank you because you're good. You're faithful. This is the day that you have made and I will rejoice and be glad in it. And you know what, Lord? I thank you for everything you've given me. Even though it's cold and it's early in the morning and I got to go to work, I thank you. And you know what? Because you have given me all those things, Lord, I'm going to give it my all today. See, when we focus on the Lord and when we have joy and we're rejoicing in him, that's going to, that's going to light a fire in our behind to, to give it 100%. So I challenge you guys, if you guys are just going through the motions in school, you know, I, I, I feel you. It can be hard, especially I, I haven't experienced this, but you guys are online. Most of you guys are online all the time doing school. Man, I can get boring if I'm being honest with you. But here's the thing. If you guys are waking up in the morning, I, I promise you, if you guys are waking up in the morning, first thing, Lord, thank you for waking me up. And you start thinking about all the things that the Lord has done for you, for your family. He's protected you. He's put food on the table for you. He's done all these things. And you start thanking him for it. You're going to rejoice in the Lord. And when you rejoice in the Lord, I'm telling you guys right now, you're going to give it 100% in everything that you do. See, and I believe this is in Colossians. It says, in whatever you do or say, you do it as a representative of, for the Lord Jesus, giving thanks through him to God the Father. See, that goes back to rejoicing the Lord. You guys got to rejoice the Lord. He has done so many things for us. He's done so many things for us. We can't even comprehend, the, the, like we cannot comprehend the things he's done from, for us. 
Like there's so many things that he's done for us that we can't even see. Can you guys even believe? There are millions of things that he does for us every day that we are not even aware of. And you thank him for those things. You thank him for the things that you did notice. And I'm telling you guys again, I know I sound like a broken record, but when you start thanking him for those things, you're going to find joy in him. And when you find joy in him, you're going to not, you're going to stop going through the motions on things. You're just going to give it 100%. Because every day you wake up, you thank him for things, that spirit is just going to make things fresh for you. I'm telling you guys this from experience. God is good all the time. And all the time, he is good. Hey! But seriously, guys, I challenge you this week that if you guys notice yourself going through the motions on something, stop. Thank the Lord for the things that he has done. Thank the Lord for the things that he is going to do. And just find joy in Just find joy in him. And when that happens, you're going to give it 100%. Even when you don't want to do it, even if you don't want to give it 100%, do it anyways. Do it anyways. And you're going to see amazing things happen in your week. Your attitude, your attitude is going to change. God is good, guys. I'm telling you, God is awesome. He's amazing. So, you know, I just wanted to minister that to you guys tonight. It really fired me up when I was thinking about it. Um, over the weekend, there was something that I was struggling with and I had to ask the Lord, why do I feel like this? And immediately he just hit me with it. Well, where's your joy at? And as soon as I started thanking him and finding that joy in him, perspective on the thing that I was going through completely changed, completely changed. Like, check it out, guys, a basketball player. They don't go through like a good a basketball player that wants to win a championship and be the best that they 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 can be. They don't go through the motions because they don't get better. They want to get better, you know. In our walk with God, we want to get deeper with Him. We want to have a, a a deeper and deeper relationship with God, as any relationship with anybody. You know, you don't go through the motions. You give it a hundred percent all the time. Going through the motions gets you nowhere. You guys don't want to go nowhere, right? You guys want to go somewhere in life. Find your joy in the Lord. It's a really simple answer. Find your joy in the Lord. So I just wanted to hit you guys with that tonight. As always, we love y'all. Uh, can't wait to see you guys on Friday. And as always, give God glory in everything you do. So we're going to pray out. Lord, we just thank you, Father. We thank you for that your word just inspires us. It lights a fire in us, Lord, to do what we have to do to bring you glory. So, Father God, I just pray over the teams, Lord, that as they go their way tonight, as they go through their week, that they find their joy in you, that they not go through the motions, but that they give whatever they do 100% so that they can bring you glory. And whoever watches this, if they be a teenager or a grown-up, Lord, I just pray that they give it 100% in everything that they do because we represent you and we want to give thanks to you and we want to glorify you, Lord. So we love you and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, guys. Love y'all. See you Friday. Have a good week.